You go first. Oh, okay. Hello, people. This is Jabby Kawe, and I'm a Chara cook. Jabby is stuffing his face with coconut rolls. They're Yum. quite delicious, and they're made with real coconut milk. But that's not why you're here. You're here because in the title, we said that we were going to review margarita with a straw. Now, we actually watched this a little while ago. We just hadn't got around to reviewing it, and that's what we're going to do right now. Cue the intro music. <laughs> So what is this film about? <laughs> it's about a young woman who has cerebral palsy and she's in a wheelchair. So she's disabled, but she really loves music. And she has this great opportunity to go to New York and study music. And also in the meantime, she learns a lot about herself and about life yeah, it's a and coming... living alone. It's a coming of age story, right? Yes. How was that? That was really good. That was a good intro. Oh. I think you're you're good. So in the event that I can't shoot, you can totally take over for those days. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> this stars uh, Kalki Kolchin. Kolchlin. Ko I'll, I'll never get her name right, Kochlin? but she, she's a damn good actress. Yeah, though. she's she's she was really really good. This trailer for Margarita with a Straw is the very first time I saw her, ever. And I was convinced that she was she really had cerebral palsy. And see like the other stuff she's done, you know, since we watched her in Death, uh, of, Death of the Gun. Death of the Gun. I've seen yeah. her in some other trailers and other movies. I think. Every time I see her, she's brilliant. She's really yeah, good. She really good. just totally assumes the role that she was chosen for. And I'm like, I'm a big fan of her. I think that she's one of the best actresses I've ever seen, ever. Like, just hands down. You know, I have a hard time declaring who my favorite actress is. I automatically go to, what's her name from Rec Room for a Dream? Jennifer Ellen Jennifer Connelly? El no. no, Ellen Bernstein. Ellen. Okay. I go for Ellen Bernstein just because, like, I remember watching Ellen Bernstein in that movie and being totally floored and being like, wow, she's an incredible actress. Like, people go for Judi Dench or they go for, um, What's her name? My personal favorite is Kate Blanchett. She's yeah, she's really good. Mm -hmm. But it, I don't, she doesn't immediately come to my brain when right. I think of my favorite actress. The one people go for is uh, who, who's the woman that's won like a billion Oscars? Oh, Meryl Streep. Yeah, Meryl Streep. Like a lot of How people. How could we forget Meryl Streep? A lot of people say Meryl Streep, and I'm like, no. The only woman I would generally say is Ellen Bernstein. But now I can add Kalki Kolchlin to that list if yeah. I can get her name right. For God's sake, which is really really good. I yeah. I think that. You know, her performance here was is the reason to watch the movie, obviously. I don't know like what awards she won, but I know that if, if she did this movie in the States, she would have gotten the Academy Award for sure. She was really good, and I think the story itself was really interesting, because it's not often that you get a story where the protagonist is someone who has a disability. It's almost like, yeah, she has this disability, but that's almost on the back burner because it's mostly just about her coming of age and discovering who she is, discovering what she likes. Discovering to be comfortable with herself. Exactly, and you know. being true to herself. What I liked about this, though, more than anything, is that when you see a film like this, what you're expecting is that, you know, despite this disability, she's able to, against all odds, accomplish this great task. But the movie is really just saying, yeah, she's kind of fucked up too. Like just like you. Yeah. You know, she's got her own problems and she's and she makes mistakes, like big mistakes that any one of us could make. And you know, she's just a person. They're all these people with disabilities, they're people too. Exactly. And I think that's the main thing is yeah. it's like she's just a person right. as well. And I I kind of love that. Like, Cuz initially when I was watching it, I was getting a little frustrated because I wanted to root for her, but I couldn't root for her actions because they were kind of appalling. At least as far as a film character goes, you want your character to be like, to have a good moral compass, to do things that you would like find, I don't know, um, noteworthy. Or inspirational. Noble. noble is the word yeah. I'm looking for. But she's not a noble character. She screws up hard throughout the film. And I actually came away really appreciating that. And in the end, she was, ha okay, I'm assuming you guys have, okay. If you haven't seen it yet, Jesus, it's been out since 2014. But, um, spoilers are coming now, so. In the end, she learns just how to be comfortable with herself and, and appreciate who she is. And I think that is the number one hardest yeah. thing for so many people, including myself. Like, that was something I had to learn how to do, was just to be comfortable alone by myself. And it took me going through some stupid, serious shit to get to that point. And so I could relate to the film in that sense. Now I can like go to the movies by myself, go to dinner by myself, and actually enjoy my own company instead of like feeling depressed about that and, and being lonely. You have to go through some certain things. I know that a lot of young people might, who, who watch the channel might be experiencing that very feeling. And for you guys, I would say definitely watch this movie if you can, because I, I think that it's inspiring in teaching you that it's okay to like just be comfortable with who you are, despite 
any oddities that might be in your personality, you know? And like you said, she's she is a completely fallible character. Like, she does things that are morally questionable and can I say it now? Reprehensible. Yeah, so she unexpectedly falls in love with this lovely girl who who is blind so also has a disability and they somehow like carve out a little niche for themselves. They live together and they're perfectly blissful and happy and then she goes and ruins it all for one night with suave Mr. Dude from her class. Who is gross by the way. Oh my <laughs> god. Like when she first saw him he was making out with a chick that he wouldn't even call his girlfriend. And then she was perfectly happy to kiss him and sleep with him. I'm like, this is a dirty dude. Like, that's gross. Like, you know that he's up to no good. Yeah. That's nasty. But also, it's like, it just makes her real, you know, like, I, I kind of understand. I lost respect for her in that moment. I know you lost yeah. respect for her in that moment, but I kind of understand that it was really confusing for her because she had liked him, but she was with her girlfriend, but she'd never experienced being with a guy. Right. And then she was with him, and then she just felt like so dirty, you know, like, because yeah. she cheated on Oh, and girl. then in addition to that, she, she went and told her girlfriend. I know. That, that really, like, pushed me over the edge. I was like, I am so done with this character. And it's like, the movie, it made up for it by the end of it. Like, there was this scene with the mom that made me cry oh a little God. bit. Oh my God, it was just too much, it was so moving. I'm recalling now how badly I was crying yeah. during that scene because it reminded me of my own dad and stuff. I was fucked up, like that that scene messed me up when she started playing the music that reminded her of her mom. Yeah, I, it, oh was a, it, it was a wrap for me, I was, I was messed up. So it redeemed itself, but I just, I was so pissed at her for telling her girlfriend the truth. I thought that was so selfish. People often say that the truth will set you free, right? But in that situation, you really have to kind of weigh the pros and cons. Is it like, are you telling the truth for yourself? Or are you telling the truth for the other person? If you know that you're never gonna do that again and you love that person, then maybe don't tell them. I know everyone says you should tell the truth, but maybe don't just to spare their feelings if you're not ever going to do that again just swallow it and yeah. you know i could i am keep it to that, yourself. that is totally my uh, standpoint uh, in that argument and or uh, conversely you could tell them but it could blow up in your face or it can make your relationship stronger no matter it could go either no way. no matter what i say don't ever say anything there's no good reason to say anything ever unless like you are consistently doing it and it's a problem and you're gonna work through that problem with that person like you're gonna work through it together and that's your hope that's the only circumstance in which you should say something but if you're not gonna we had a, a friend i don't want to say the circumstance because i don't want her to know that we're talking about her but we had a friend who was a chronic cheater straight up she said it she's a chronic cheater and she's going to therapy and her boyfriend knows about it i'm like that's the only circumstance in which i can totally understand you coming forward to your, your significant other and telling them about this issue. Right. There's no other circumstance where I can see that it's good to tell the truth because you're just gonna hurt that person's feelings. It's like, either leave them or, or, or stop doing it. Those are your choices. Like, don't, that's what made me so upset. Anyway, I don't wanna go on, that's a whole <laughs> other tangent we don't need to get into. I like the movie, I think it's cool. And, uh, and the, I think all the actors in it were really, really good as well. Yes. Yeah, I really <laughs> loved Kalki, obviously. I loved the girl Sayani Gupta, who played Kanem. She's just such a lovely quality about her. The cast overall was great. Yeah, so, so lovely. I, I know that we're kind of steamrolling past that, but that the cast, it was a great supporting cast. It was a good drama, ultimately. A slice of life, but through a different perspective. Thanks for hanging out with us. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, video game related videos. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.